Okay, so I am going to update the firmware for my Sony. This is my A7R, but I've done my A7S and all the other ones. So this is the last one, and I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how that's done. So let's go over to Google, and let's search for Sony A7R firmware update. Okay, and so there it is. Looks like we can find it there. So drivers and software. Let's select our Mac because I'm on my Mac OS 10X. And then we're looking for firmware. And once we have firmware, uh, download. Uh, so it's about 200 megs. Now note right here, this will tell you what it does. Okay, so oh, I have the 7200G lens. Okay, that's great. Reduces startup time, improves image quality, all that. Okay, and then note, this is not compatible with 10.10, .10, which is Yosemite. So, good thing that this computer that we're on is not on Yosemite. So, we're just going to go ahead and download. And then, always a good chance, good idea to speed read the uh, agreement. Not speed read, read in detail. Have your attorney look at it. Accept agreement. And then now, ball is spinning because it's going to be time to update. So I'm going to download the update. And we'll say save. And down here, you'll see that it's downloading. Okay. Now, sometimes it'll stop you from downloading. And it'll say something like security. So let me just show you that real quick. Um, Let's unlock this. Hold on. Okay, so allow apps downloaded from Mac Store and identified developers or anywhere. If you have only the Mac App Store, then it'll stop you. So if you have a problem with that, just go to your system preferences and pull that down. Okay, so this has got 11 minutes left. Let's put this on. Okay, so now we have firmware updated, downloaded. It was a D, uh, right here, it was a little drive file called update, whatever, and I double clicked on that, and now we get the firmware updater. So, can't be, oh, this is what I told you earlier. Can't be opened because the identity of the developer cannot be confirmed. That is the default for your security. So, you want to go over here and then. You want to go here and go right there. Or you can go right here. Firmware updater was blocked, so we'll say open anyway. Okay? So, keeps asking you. I trust Sony. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's follow the steps. Okay, so it says turn on the camera. Select USB connection. Okay, so we'll go to Menu, and then we'll go over to the Setup tab, and let's look for USB connection. It's right there. So now it says Auto. We're going to set it to Mass Storage, like it says. Now, connect the camera to the computer with the USB cable. Okay, so now it says click the next button when the connection has been made. Connection has been made. So verifying the connection of the camera, click the next button to verify the version of the update. We hit next. See on the screen it says follow computer instructions. So verify the version on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If there's no problem with the version, click next. It is impossible to cancel the update from this point forward. So version 102, we're going to 110 next. Select the following procedures to reset the camera. Select OK in the camera uh, screen. The camera's screen will turn off. So let's hit OK. Screen turns off. Hit the Next button. Verifying the connection of the camera and computer for this update. Please wait. Okay, so it says the update is aborted to an error in, during the process. I'm glad this came up because it's bound to come up with someone. So it says turn off the camera and remove the battery from it. 
Open AC adapters, connect or disconnect it, reboot the software, and restart from the beginning. So let's quit the firmware updater, and we'll launch it again. We'll say open. Turn on the camera. Select USB connection from the setup menu. So we'll go to the last one. Setup. This is the setup menu. And then USB connection. We want it to go to mass storage. OK, now it's on mass storage. Connect the camera to the computer with the USB cable. So now it's ready. And OK, so now we're connected. And click the Next button. OK, so now the firmware updater is running after you hit the Run button. And it says, do not pull the USB cable out or turn off the camera. Really don't do that, because you could brick it. It could render the camera completely useless. And then you have your little status bar right there. OK, so now it says, when the update has been completed, the camera will automatically restart. It may take a few minutes to restart the camera. Make sure the camera is turned on and wait until the LCD screen appears. Okay, I hope that helps. It is uh, something you know you hear you got to do, and you do. anyway, it's fun to have company. So just do it along with me. This is for Mac, uh, 10.9, not for Yosemite yet. Okay. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and for more information and training on everything to unleash the power of your photography, please visit GaryFong.com. Thanks.